having trouble with Father Mendez? Well, you came to the right place, I guarantee you that. Hey guys, it's Elvetium back with another helpful guide. And uh, well, before I even think about asking you to subscribe to me, please allow me a chance to earn that instead. Yeah. Okay, so. I guarantee you that uh, after this guide, you're not only going to beat this boss, you're going to smash his face in and you will not even need to heal once. Yeah, you heard me. So with that being said, let's get into the prep work. Okay, so as I said, the prep work for this boss fight is going to be everything. As you can see, I have one flash grenade right here. Your inventory probably looks extremely, extremely different. What I cannot stress enough is buying the recipe for the flash grenades from the vendor. And uh, well, from the very beginning, even before going into the boss fight, equip this, hold it, and you will see just why. So here we are, the very beginning of the boss fight. You are holding the flash grenade and what you need to do is chuck it immediately, like that. You turn toward this crate here, but do not start breaking it until the grenade goes off. Otherwise, it's going to flash you, it's going to interrupt your animation and that is just not okay for this boss fight. You proceed to this other crate here and you get more resources and now hopefully you can make another flash grenade but that is not all you go down to this corner you actually collect another already made pre-made flash grenade it's going to be the key for this boss fight so from there what you're gonna be doing equip your most uh, damage outputting weapon and just keep wailing at him while keeping an eye out for your uh, reloading pairing or evading as needed. There is really no rush at this point right here. Okay, so you are just dealing damage. You stagger him, he goes down. Right here, do not jump down. Do not give away this platform that you're occupying right now. Switch to the shotgun, just keep shooting at the eye. Do not jump down, I repeat, it's going to be crucial. He gets up. Now, he is most likely going to try to wind up for this very, very annoying attack that is like that, that is extremely hard to dodge. It's going to hit you, I guarantee that. So just keep shooting and there you go. You pretty much interrupted his attack and we ended the first part of the boss fight. So here we are, phase two. And after Leon's cheesy one-liner, well, you might be feeling a little bit, you know, exhilarated. Oh my goodness, I made it this far. Do not be scared. Relax. This is just a game you can try as many times as you can, okay? Because player's mindset is very important and no one seems to address that, ever. Just relax. You got this. And if you don't have this now, you have it the next try. There's no one to make fun of you or pressure you into doing it. Okay, so with that out of the way, well... You can get actually hit by these. It's not a big deal if you get hit. And before you even think about going up that same ladder, going up to the platform, wait for this until he brings up these two barrels, blow it up, and, uh, well, just climb. Because uh, what this is going to allow you is to be a little hamster who is just running left and right and completely dodging these attacks very, very easily. Until he decides to, well do something else and we're gonna get into that just now okay do you see this now he changes his axis to where you are when he does this moves to the right that means you go to the left like that and equip your flash grenade it will go off and just keep shooting at him shoot shoot and he is going to fall down now, after you drop him, do not drop down yourself yet again. Chuck a grenade if you have one and keep shooting at the eye with whatever, whatever weapon you feel comfortable the most. After that, he is going to be yet again retreating to his platform and he's going to be doing the debris attacks, which we know how to dodge right now. But one little thing that I forgot to mention is stay always to the edge of the platform and do not go back to the wall because actual area of effect splash damage can still damage you. Over there I made a mistake because there's another attack that is very similarly telegraphed as the barrels and uh, well that's gonna be coming right up now. 
two handfuls of the debris and he chucks them to the side. You basically either can stay down the middle and then you have an opportunity depending on the time of the fight to craft another flash grenade which is what I'm doing right here. Now I was very very comfortable in this boss fight so I chose to stay down but you can always stay up. Always stay up if you can. Now he comes again, I chuck the grenade and uh, well that is all she wrote. Bye bye, Mr. Mendez. Here you go. He gets stunned for a very long time and that is the end of the whole fight. Now guys, you saw I haven't healed once and I guarantee yet again that you won't either. If this guide did help you, please do consider clicking that subscribe button, maybe even a like. If you're a fan of the channel for a longer time, you will maybe pleased to know that I do have membership on the channel that helps me buy games and just keep the channel going. Guys, this is Albethium. I will see you in the next one. Have a nice day.